Well, hello again, everyone. Professor Prophet coming to you from Crabs University, and we've got a neat little strategy for you this evening. This is one of Wayland's over at Wayland's Way Craps, and this one is called the DC Pony. Now, I haven't done one of Wayland's strategies in quite a while, and that's my fault. He's got a lot of good ones over there, so if you haven't checked out Wayland's uh, channel, uh, please take a moment and do so uh, after this video is completed. We will also link uh, Wayland's a video of the DC Pony strategy, which is his, uh, in the description box below. So after you see this one, go take a look at his, and I'm sure he explains it a little better than I'm going to here. So this is a $1,500 buy-in. It's a $10 minimum bet table. We do have some dark side bets. We do have some light side bets, so we do like that when we combine those. Uh, there's some action to this, so it's a lot of fun to play. And most importantly, it gives you a good chance of walking away with the profit when you're done with your session. So let's head on down to the lab and we'll explain how this works, the nuts and bolts of it, exactly how it's bet, exactly what the progression is, and then we'll roll it out for a few minutes and see what a strong system that it really is. So let's head on down there now and we'll see you there shortly. All right, everybody down here on the Crapsy Virtual Craps table getting ready to roll uh, Wayland's DC Pony Strategy. This is a $1,500 buy-in. You'll see that at the top right-hand corner of the screen. A $10 minimum bet table. And this is a very simple system. We start off, once the number is established, we put $50 on the don't come, the DC. And once uh, that number is set, we'll put $10 on the come, and we'll just keep feeding that come bet $10 at a time. Now, if we lose on a particular shooter, uh, we'll level up or ladder up to uh, 75 on the DC and 20 on the come, or excuse me, or 15 on the come, and we'll keep um, laddering up by 25 on the DC and five on the come uh, until we reach a, uh, as long as we keep losing on shooters. Now, if we went on a shooter, we'll step back down one level and we'll just continue to do that and we'll see how we end up here using this strategy. Now, I do like this, a lot of action here and a lot of moving parts, so you do have to pay attention. So let's go ahead and get a number established, and then we'll make a don't come bet and see how this works out. So there's the uh, 401, the horse and buggy. So five is going to be the number, so we'll put our first don't come bet up, the DC, the, for $50, and we're rolling. And there's the 314, so that'll move the uh, DC to the 4. And now we'll come back with the $10 come bet and start that progression here. And there's the 8 easy, the 538 easy, so that'll move to the 8. And we'll just put another $10 come bet out and keep this train rolling. So that goes to the 5, that's a winner 5. And so everything is working on the come out roll here. So let's get a number established. And there's the 4, so we do get knocked off that 4. <clears throat> so we'll come back up. Uh, since we got knocked off, we'll come back up at 75 on the DC. And then we'll go 15 on our come bets now. So we move to the 10 now on the DC. And the come bet here will be 15 this time as we step up a little bit. And there's the 7 out. So after this first shooter, we are up $20. And so let's get a number established, and we'll go on to shooter two. And there's a 6-4-10, the 10 easy. And so we'll come back with $50 on the DC, and roll those dice. Here we go. And there's the 5-1, that's the 6 easy. So uh, the uh, DC will move to the 6, and we'll come up with a $10 come bet, and roll the dice. Here we go. And that's uh, two crap, so we do lose that $10 bet. And we'll come back with 10 again. And let's roll them. There's a 3, 1, 4 easy. So that come bet will move to the 4. We'll put another one out there. And there's a 6 easy. So that'll move to the 6. We get knocked off our DC. So we'll come back up with the DC bet of 75 this time. And roll those dice. And that goes to the 10. That's a winner 10. So although we've got a come out roll, everything is working. And here come the dice. And that's three craps, so 
that doesn't mean anything to us here. So let's roll them again. And that'll go to the four, and so that's a winner. And uh, so let's come back with the $15 come bet now. Since we've leveled up on the DC, we're going to level up on the come bets. And there's that seven out again. So on that shooter, we win $30, so we're at 50 total now. So let's get another number established, <clears throat> and then we'll put the DC bet out. Okay, we got that uh, established $50 DC bet back to our base level. And there's the 9, the 6-3 center field 9. So the DC will move to the 9 and we'll go with the $10 come bet. And I uh, don't know if we've, I guess we've hit one come bet. Uh, we do lose there though on the three craps. So let's try that again. And this time it goes to the 8, the 5-3-8 eight easy. So let's put another come bet up. And there's a 3 one, 4 so 4 easy. So this time the uh, come bet will move to the 4. And we'll put another one up there. And 6-4, so this goes to the other end of the board. This one will go to the 10. So we've got three come, uh, come bets established and a fourth one out there. And that'll move to the uh, 8. That's the square pair this time. So we get a $10 payoff on that one, and everything remains the same. And we hit that four this time, the 314. So everything still remains the same as we collect another $10. And this time the uh, come bet goes to the five, so now we have four come bets out there. And we've got a fifth one in the hopper, so here we go. And there's the seven out. So see how we made out on this particular shooter. We did win another 30. So let's get another number established now. And that number is the 2x4, the lumber yard, the 6 easy. So we'll come back up with our DC bet of 50. And we're rolling. And there's the 314 easy. So the DC will move to the 4. And now we'll come out with a $10 come bet. And just rinse and repeat. Here we go. Oh, now we get knocked off the four right there, so that's unusual. So we're going to come back with a $75 uh, come bet. Don't come bet, I mean. And we're rolling. And there's that four again. So we do collect on the light side, and the DC moves to the four. So let's come back with a $10 come bet, and let's roll them. There's the 628, eight easy. So the, D, the come bet will move to the 8, and we'll replace the come. And we get the 3 crap, so we lose it there. And so let's replace it. Here we go. This time it's the uh, Colt 45 center field 9. So back with another come bet. And there's the 12 crap, so we lose again. And we're rolling. Here we go. And there's that center field nine, so we do collect there. And everything remains the same. And there's a seven out. So we won 15 on this shooter, so we're up a total of 95. So let's get a number established. And we'll move on to shooter number five. So there's the uh, craps three. That's a front line loser, but we don't have anything on the front line, so that doesn't hurt us. A hard four this time, the double deuces. So the puck moves to the four, and back with the $50 DC bet. And this time it's the 5-3-8 easy. So the puck moves to the eight, and a $10 come bet. And that'll move to the nine, the 6-3-9. So let's put another come bet up. And we're rolling. This time it's the no-field five, the uh, tray and the deuce. So we have the nine and the five covered. And another come bet out there. And there's another five, so we collect $10 on that. And let's roll them again. And this time it's the six, four, ten, ten easy, ten, ten. And so let's put another come bet out. We have three working and one in the hopper here. And that'll go to the four. And that's the number, so the 
Puck is off, but all our bets are working, our contract bets. And we come out with a 10 easy, so we do win $10 there. And let's get a $10 come bet up and roll the dice. And there's the 8 hard, the square pair, so we get knocked off the 8. And so we'll come back up with 75 on the DC. And here we go. And right back on that 8. So we do collect the come bet. The DC moves to the 8. And another $10 come bet out here. And here we go. And there's the 7 out. All right. Actually, we should have had a $15 come bet in there since we increased on the DC. We need to increase on the come bets also. When we forgot to do that. But we did win $35 on that shooter, so uh, let's get another number established and we'll go on to shooter 6. So 6 is the number, 246, 6 easy. And back to $50 on the DC. And that's the Colt 45, the center field 9, so that'll move to the 9. And we'll get that come bet up, the $10 come bet. And that's the no field 5. So the come bet moves to the five and we replace the come bet and roll the dice. And this time it's the sunflowers, the 10 hard. So the puck or the, the come bet will move to the 10 and we'll replace it with another $10 bet. And that goes to the nine this time. So we do get knocked off the nine. So let's put uh, 75 on the DC and roll the dice. And there's that nine again. So we collect $10 on that come bet. And the uh, DC moves to the nine. And now we have a $15 come bet since we went up one, uh, one rung on the ladder. On the dark side, we go up one rung on the ladder on the light side. So 75 on the dark side and 15 on our light side come bets. So we do hit that five. And there's the 4-2, <coughs> Lumberyard, the 2x4, 6 easy, so the, the uh, come bet goes to the 6, and we're coming out, everything is working. And there's two craps, snake eyes, so let's roll them again. And there's the 6-2, that's the 8 easy. So the puck moves to the 8, and let's get another $15 come bet out there. And that's 10 easy, so that'll go to the 10. And we'll collect uh, $10 on that. The $15 bet will go to the 10, and we'll replace the come bet and roll the dice. And there's that center field 9 again, so we get knocked off that for the second time. So now we're up to 100 on the DC, and we're rolling the dice. And there's a 7 out. So that was a disaster there. And that brings us down to 13.75. Um, so we were at 100, so we'll come back at 125 uh, when we get a number established here. So let's do 125 on the don't come. And we're rolling. And there's the center field 9, so that'll be the dark side bet will be on the nine and we'll come back with 25 now on the come and there's a three one four easy so the come bet moves to the four and we'll just replace it with another quarter bet and there's the seven out so um, we do come out a little bit ahead on that one so we'll reduce back down to a hundred we're back at uh, our starting level now uh, fifteen hundred dollars is exactly where we started and the come out rolls the uh, six hard, the tray and the tray. So we're at 100 on the DC, and we'll be at 20 on the come bets. So there's a seven out, so we do lose our DC. And that's the kryptonite in this strategy, or any strategy, is the uh, seven or 11 when you're on the DC on the come out roll. So six four this time, so we're at 125 now on the DC bet. And rolling those dice, here we go. And there's the uh, craps three, so we get that right back to 125. So we'll reduce that to 100 now and roll them again. 
And there's the 3-2 no field 5, so that moves the uh, uh, dark side bet to the 5. And we're at $20 now on the come. As we move in concert with the uh, don't come bet. And there's the 7 out, perfect time. We win both those bets. And that puts us at 16.45. And I think at this point we're going to call this a, um, a video. Uh, as you can see, um, we had the one disaster shooter. But other than that, uh, it was a steady climb, steady profits on each shooter. And as it ended up, even with that one disaster shooter, we still came out uh, ahead with $1,645 cash out. $1,500 buy-in, so that is a profit of $145. And that is how the DC Pony uh, by Whalen over at Whalen's Way Craps works. Uh, fun strategy, simple strategy, profitable strategy. We do like all those three things. The DC Pony. Well, that was a pretty exciting session, wasn't it? We uh, got, up, got up early. Uh, with some pretty consistent profits on each shooter and then we had that one disaster shooter that kind of wiped us out and then we came back strong and ended up with a, a little better than $140 profit so that's almost 10% uh, in return on investment so uh, that's not a bad ROI there we'll take that all day so that is the um, DC Pony as presented by Waylon over at Waylon's Way Craps and again, uh, thumbs up to Waylon uh, for presenting that strategy. Uh, I really do like it, and I hope that you do too. And once again, we have linked uh, Waylon's video uh, in the description box below. So please take a moment and go over there and check out his video, and uh, he'll explain it to you also and probably be a little clearer <laughs> than I am. So uh, the DC Pony by Waylon. Thank you, Waylon. Uh, we do hope you enjoyed that. If you did, uh, we ask that you give us the old thumbs up. That's why, that way we'll know that you like what we're presenting to you here. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to the Craps University channel, man, we'd love to have you press that button and become part of the student body here at Craps U. And besides, it's just not the same if you're not here with us. So please consider pressing that subscribe button. So once again, thank you for joining us. We'll do a roulette video on Wednesday, and we'll have our next Craps video on Sunday. So once again, this is Professor Prophet coming to you from Crabs University. And if you're out there rolling those bones this week, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. And may all your roles be winners. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.